Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another short movie. The name of the short movie is What if Naruto befriended Kurama in the beginning and yeah guys, it is an unscripted movie as well. Now before continuing this, shout out will be showed here or down. So shout out to you my guy for suggesting me this idea. I will not physically show the shout out. So yeah, this is a new thing that I learned so hey, I just wanted to show off, why not? And yeah. Unlike last time when I ended up making a movie, I decided it's time for a short movie and just because I'm tired of, you know, recording a gameplay that I just did and it will be up soon, so stay tuned for that as well. Now, before continuing this, if you haven't, then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and keep on coming with your ideas, guys, except for the Witcher one. I haven't watched Witcher, I'm sorry. I know, I know, many of you guys are like triggered and all, but yeah, there are a lot of shows I haven't watched. Heck, I download them from, you know, pirated versions to watch it. I can't afford Netflix and there is no Netflix service here. So yeah, what can I do, right? So enough about that. Without any further ado, let's begin with our today's story. Our story begins in a battlefield. An area that has been turned into a battlefield to be more precise. And the battle that happened there was between two best friends, Madara Uchiha and Hashirama Senjo. As Madara, with a trick, was able to manipulate the Kyubi no Yoko. As after manipulating it and putting it under his control, he brought it for the destruction of the village as Hashirama, the first Hokage of the village's best friend, had to defeat him. And there was a huge clash in battle, but in the end, Hashirama was able to prevail. As he stabbed Madara, and Madara died. But that was not the end of their, well, worries, as Kyubi no Yoko has become free from its, well, genjutsu, as it looked menacingly at the dead body of the Uchiha, that life was slowly fading away from it. Please stop, said Hashirama. Even though I know what he did, I apologize on his behalf, Bijusama. He, he was foolish to do this. Hmm. I can sense good chakra and true words coming from you, human. As Mito arrived there, Hashirama, are you alright? Yes, Mito chan, I am. See? Yes, he is. And Uzumaki, hmm. how long has it been since I last saw any Uzumaki? I wonder. You have met my people? Mito asked. Yes. I had actually good relations with them, but that was long ago. I do not know how long I was asleep until this bastard over there found me. Again, I apologize. Enough apologizing. You are the leader of that village, right? That is down there. Yes. Hmm. I was hearing a rumor that my siblings have been caught by that village leader, and not only that, handed over to the other villages tell me why did you do that for peace i thought that it will be for peace and some of the bijus came with me willingly the only one that gave me trouble was the one tail and the five tail hmm the two of the most annoying ones i see so if they came willingly i as well will come with you your village does not have a jinchuriki right N no hmm I see. Then, you, dear Uzumaki, I will allow you the honor of becoming my Jinchuriki. Wait, I, I don't understand, but, but why? Hmm. Because I say so, and there is a prophecy that I must see, must fulfill. So, I must become an Uzumaki's Jinchuriki in a far away land, hidden with trees. So I think it must be you. This is the first part of the prophecy. Can you tell us the whole? No. It is a sacred prophecy that only I and the sage talked about. You mean the sage of the sixth path? Yes. That is much I can reveal. But aside from that, not a single word I can. I, I see. I will be honored to. As Mito prepared a sealing process seal and sealed the QB inside her mindscape as after that we see an old Mito 
as after many wars and many things, not once Mito used Kyuubi's powers, even though Kyuubi insisted. You know, Mito, you even on your deathbed, I must commend you. Not even once, you even gave in to my word and used my power. Even when I begged you to. You really are a stubborn one, like the last one. Yes, I guess you can say that. Well, now that you're old, what are you going to do, Mito? Unfortunately, the village is going to need a Jinchuriki, Kurama. I hope you do not mind keep looking after us for some more time. As much as the village needs me, I will watch over it. You do not need to worry about it, Mito. After that, Kurama was placed into its second Jinchuriki, Kushina Uzumaki, who Mito have told and taught everything about the Biju and their nature. And Kushina was the best thing that happened to Kurama. She treated him even more fairly than Mito and became his best friend. Unfortunately, that happiness for Kurama also came to an end on October 10th when a great incident happened. He was released from Kushina against his own will and was put under a Genjutsu again and released upon the village to cause destruction. When he got out of his trance, his friend was dying. No, 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 Kushina, I have to stop this, but I cannot become your well, you cannot become my host again. I know, Kurama. There must be some way. As Minato then said, a part of your chakra will be able to keep her alive, and the medics will keep her to good health. I will be able to seal you again in Naruto. I guess I can live with that. I was going to be his godfather anyway, from Kushina's side. I, I see, said Hiruzen, as he also appeared there. As Minato did the sealing process, done, as... Minato, was see Minato saw that QB was sealed inside Naruto. After that, we have a time skip of one week. It took one week for the whole village to get out of the trauma that they had just suffered. And everyone went back to their normal lives. As we go towards an hospital room to see that Kushina was awoken. As next to her was her little baby boy, Naruto, who was resting in a crib. As Minato appeared there in a yellow flash, you're awake! Minato, where is Kurama? He's inside Naruto. I sealed him there. I see. Yakata. What about that masked person? We had a talk, said Hiruzen as he entered. First thing first, Kushina. How are you feeling? I'm good, Hiruzen sama. Hmm, I see. Well, as Hiruzen sama was saying, said Minato, we talked about this the next day after he went into coma. As you see, the next day, the council meeting was held in the flashback, as everyone was there. As Pinato then said, this meeting is in session. Hi. As everyone nodded. Okage-sama, one of the civilians said, what happened to QB? You said that it was a friendly biju, yet it attacked us. It was controlled by an Uchiha. More specifically, he claimed to be Madara Uchiha, but I highly doubt it, because it was killed by Hashirama Senjo-sama, meaning it could be another any other Uchiha, said Danza. No, the Uchihas are our loyal clan. And Fugaku being my friend, I can fully trust him and say this, that each and every Uchiha we know of is innocent. But you said that. I know what I said. Inuichi, that is why I'm going to need your help. You have to walk through my mind and see what truly happened. As Inuichi did that to confront everyone. As after some time, we see Inuichi coming back from the Minato's mindscape. Okage-sama is stating the fact and the truth, Danzo, as Danzo was fuming. What about the Biju then? Why did it lose control? You see, Madara was the only Uchiha that was tracked down in the history of the Shinobi books by Mito-sama that was able to manipulate QB with this Mangekyo Sharingan. A Mangekyo, huh? Yes, it is also in recorded in the Uchiha books that Madara had the strongest form of the Sharingan as well. Hmm, such a terrifying power. Yes. No other Uchiha after him was able to awaken it, unfortunately. I see, said Danzo, as everyone nodded at this. So we come to a conclusion that this person should be caught at any chance we can get. He wore a white mask with two holes for Tomos, as he wore purple robes. I see. We will keep an eye out for him, said the Dragon Anbu commander. 
As for the Uchihas, they are our loyal friends as well as family. And as Konoha, we welcome them and still trust them with our whole heart. As everyone nodded at that. Even the civilians. So, Kakisama, said one of the civilians. The Biju really is friendly to us? Yes. In fact, Mito-sama and... Well, Kyubi-sama had good friendship and Kushina was able to enhance it to make best friends with the Kyubi. And now that duty is upon my son to keep that and maintain that friendship and take it to the next level. I see. So that is why Kushina was able to use that form that she called KCM. Yes. That was Kurama Chakra Mode State, as both of them named it. <laughs> I see. That is something certainly that Kushina would name. I know. So, what else there is needed to be discussed then? Civilian asked. That is the reverence of the village. That we can handle. As after that, the meeting came to an end. End of the flashback. Oh, I see. So the village doesn't... Yeah, they don't. I see. Both of my friends and loved ones are saved. As QB smart inside Naruto's mindscape. Don't worry, Kushina. Your son has already absorbed a lot of my chakra in your womb when you entered KCM2 state. So, I guess he will be able to achieve the fully version of the KCM the body and mode without any cause of death between us even if it comes to that I will protect my godson it is my responsibility as with that now we have a time skip time skip of six years later we see it was Yuga state and there was a party going on inside the Yuga manor as each and every clan head and their child was invited and the Kage should always be there because it was an honor for them as the older people were talking, we see the kids, mainly Sasuke, Uchiha, Sakura, Haruno, the civilian clan head, daughter, as well as um, Inuya, Manaka, Hinata, Yuga, herself whose birthday was there, and Naruto, Zumaki, and Sasuke, Uchiha. As all of them were sitting down alongside Kiwa, Shikamaru, and Choji. As Ino and Hinata were sitting next to Naruto, and Sakura was sitting next to Sasuke. Hey, how come you all are sitting around them? Said Kiba, as he was feeling left out. What do you mean, Kiba? Naruto said. I mean, both of them are sitting next to you, and Sasuke also has Sakura. How come I'm the one alone? I'm the alpha male. Alpha what now? As he was bonked on the head by Tsumi. Enough, Brad. Stop embarrassing me. I told you to keep that trap shut of yours. As Naruto was quite surprised by this, as Kiba was now literally acting like a barking dog in front of his mother. Huh, that is why they're called in Azuka, I guess. <laughs> Due to their tendencies like that. As after that, we see Hinata was getting tired as Ko arrived. Hinata sama, please excuse everyone. I must bring her back to her room. Hi. As she was going, she had a doll in her hand that fell down because she was tired. As both her attendant and she did not notice. As Naruto did. As Naruto picked it up. Naruto kun? Ino asked. Oh, uh, I'm gonna bring that doll back to Hinata. I hope you don't mind. No, please do. As after that, Naruto dashed after her. But when he arrived there, he saw that Ko was knocked out and Hinata was, well, put inside a bag as he gasped. What should I do? What should I do? Don't worry about anything. As Naruto visibly passed out as QB took over him. And next thing Naruto knew, Naruto was standing over some beaten and bruised people as everyone was inside the room. As Naruto saw that Hinata was hugging him and crying. What happened? Naruto said. Hmm. I know what did. Kushina said. Kurama, we need to talk. As QB took over Naruto, as the children were taken away. Ah, I got caught, huh? Yes. Why did you do that? You could have informed us. Well, Naruto went to give her that dough, and once we arrived there, I sensed danger. And as you know, as his godparent, I have the responsibility to look out for him. So that is what I did. I see. Thanks. It's just that I will now keep that noted that you will forever help him whenever it is needed. It's good to know that. I told you, kid. I will always watch over him. <laughs> that is why I know I can trust you, you old fox. <laughs> Red tomato. As everyone flinched visibly when Kurama said that, but to their surprise, Kushina just chuckled. How come that fox get away with it? Because this fox is my friend, aren't we? Well, he and I were stick 
in my ups and downs as well as for the every moment of my life for the past 10 to 15 years so yeah you can say he's quite close to me except him and Minotaur are exactly the same I guess ah uh, I'm honored <laughs> I guess I am as well then Minotaur said so everything is fine and it seems Hinata is safe what are we going to do about them Minato? a council meeting is in order Anbu arrest these two and inform Kumo of what has happened hi as an Anbu messenger was sent and the children were taken back time skip sometime later Kumo apologized for their actions and well put those two shinobis to prison for good as for Naruto he was well respected by even the Anbus as well as everyone even though it was QB who helped him out they knew that Naruto was the one who saved them and kept his cool and that was quite commendable as after that we have another time skip of three years Naruto rescued Ino and well Sakura from getting bullied from some Genins and at the same time beated them as well because he was training in Taijutsu did I do well Kurama yes kid you did well but you could have done better ah man is it not easy to impress you or something like that <laughs> you can say that I'm hardly impressed but you're still a kid and nonetheless not even a Genin so I can respect that you took down cannons but you still have to work hard Kushina was able to take down Chunins even at this age don't remind me Naruto said because his mother well she was on another level and thanks to the little bit of chakra that was inside Kushina both his mind and his mother mind was connected as Naruto then heard stomping Naruto Uzumaki no Mikaze what were you thinking about your mother just now what mom I, I swear he wasn't as his ear was pricked and well rest his soul in peace because he got a spanking after that after that we have another time skip time skip to the age of 13 when Naruto and his friends were graduating from the academy both of the girls were literally putting themselves over each of his arm um you know Hinata it is quite hard to move when both of you are grabbing my arm can you please let go um no Naruto -kun. it is much more comfortable this way said Hinata as you know agreed as Naruto then said ah why me <laughs> you're lucky brat you know Oh, come on, please, Kurama, not you too. <laughs> I will. It is quite fun, to be honest. As after that, Iruka came in the class and gave them the congratulations speech and informed them about their teams. Unfortunately, both Hinata and Ino were crying because they were not placed in the team, while Sakura was happy because she was. As Sasuke looked at Naruto, oh boy, she's gonna eat my ears out. Weren't you two supposed to be dating but this year now? I mean, we are, but... Ah, still, what do you mean, Sasuke? N nothing, Sakura, nothing. I guess so. It's fine then, Sakura said. As the three of them waited one by one as each sensei arrived and took their team away, until his mother arrived dragging Kakashi, who was reading his book still, as his feet were dragging. As she then entered the class, Kakachan? Uh, Obasan? Both Sakura and Sasuke said. Hello Sasuke, hello Sakura, hello Naruto. This here is your sensei, Kakashi Hatake. Stand up straight. Uh, yes, ma'am. Ah, <sighs> why am I being dragged here again? You're their sensei. Oh yeah, right. I forgot about that. As you shouldn't have. Okay. My first impression, I don't like you at all. As he was slapped in the back of the neck, I died. That hurts, you know, Nissan. Well, you're not being honest here, Kakashi. Yeah, Nissan, you're not. <laughs> okay, Naruto. Well, meet me in the rooftop. Bye. As he poofed away in the smoke. Did he just poofed away without my permission? I guess he did, Kachan. Kakashi Hatake. If I not find you within 10 minutes, your ass is whooped. What? What? Th that doesn't even make sense. As Kushina then went forward, as the three of them had a sweat drop. Should we? No. Naruto said. Don't even think about it, Sasuke. Once my mom put some on her mind there's no stopping her and trust me if you get on her wrong side there'll be hell to pay uh, okay man I guess so what are we going to do now do what exactly Sakura then said what Sasuke could mean these Naruto should we not stop them or at least try to you know get to know our sensei no don't 
No matter what happens, don't try to get in their way, or there will be hell to pay for both of us. And I don't want to pay anything to anyone. Got it? Okay, I guess. And they waited there the whole day. Time skip. After some days, they got to, well, their test, and after that, they begin to do their D rank missions. After becoming the official Team 7, Naruto and his friends meet up with one another and was very well respected in the village. And one day, Naruto was resting after completing his final D rank mission. Tomorrow was his first C rank mission, as Naruto was on his bed. Hey, Kurama. What? What are you thinking about, kid? It's just that, have you cut off my connection with Kachan? Uh, yeah, I did. Promise? Ah, <sighs> promise, kid, I did. Now tell me. What is it that is bothering you? It's just that, why is Ino and Hinata always bothering me like that? I know I get it that they like me and all, but is it compulsory to hold my arms whenever they meet me? Even though they are hurt? I mean, my arms are hurt? Yes, kid. Both of them like you. I, in fact, I might dare say I love you. So what's the problem here, kid? Are you not happy that two women are fawning over you? Many people, especially your other godfather from your father's side, will die to be in your position. <laughs> I'm not like Arasani though, but I guess you're right. It's just me. Aw, my baby boy is thinking that thoughts now, huh? Kakajan, wait, Kurama, I told you to. Well, she bothered me, so I couldn't just, you know, let her hang. Ah, <sighs> it's official. I'm not gonna talk to you about this stuff anymore. Oh, you will, little man, said Kushina. Yes, ma'am. Even though his father was the strongest shinobi, as well as Kurama, as well as Naruto, they were afraid of Kushina's, well, anger, because she once got angry, there was no stopping her. It was like someone flicked a switch or something inside of her. So, whatever they did, they did not enrage her, no matter what happened. That was the lesson they learned long ago. As after that, we have a time skip of one day later, as they met Tazuna and they were on their way towards the land of waves, as Naruto then heard Kurama, Naruto, be alert, that puddle in front of you, it's a genjutsu, as Naruto then sighed, with his Kekagenkai awakening, as his hands were now flaming with Kyuubi's fire, Naruto, that is a genjutsu, it hasn't rained here for one week, as Naruto threw some fireballs at it, it was the cause of Kushina using a lot of Kyuubi's chakra and being absorbed in her side of her feet as where Naruto was warming, that he had fire Kekagenkai, which has awoken during the age of his training, and Kurama has informed him of this, which he has kept secret. Yes, Kakashi was quite surprised to see it in work. Hmm, very done, very good, Naruto. I only heard rumors about you having a Kakakenkai, but seeing it firsthand is quite, well, refreshing. As the Demon Brothers came out, as one of their hairs were burnt, the other one, his ass was burning on fire, as he was trying to rub his ass on the ground to make the fire go away. <laughs> well, that was funny. I guess that was Naruto, but please inform me first before going into action, okay? Uh, okay, Nissan. It's Sensei Naruto. And we are on mission, please. Uh, okay, Nissan, I promise I will. As after that, we see that Naruto and his team, alongside with Tazuna, entered the land of waves, where they were covered and surrounded by mist, a lot of it. Hmm, is it almost misty here, or is it me? No, it isn't like this usually. Everyone, duck, Kakashi said as Naruto with his fire fist launched a huge fireball after fireball which melted the sword until its hilt was the only thing remaining, which Naruto grabbed and it was quite hard as he threw it away. As Aouza landed in front of them, as the mist was cleared by a uh, futon jutsu that Kakashi used. Hmm, demon of the mist, said Kakashi. Ah, Kakashi the copy ninja. Wait, what? Is that your title or moniker? Yes, Naruto, it is. <laughs> Quite lame, to be honest. <laughs> As Kagashi sighed, are you on my side or his side, Naruto? Obviously yours, if I'm teasing you. Ah, I hate my life. I love you too, Nissan. As Zabuza then said, I'm here still. Uh, okay, so what now? What now is, kid, is that we fight, and I am going to aim to win. As the fight finally commenced. As Kakashi and Zabuza were fighting while his clones were trying to get close to Tazuna, Naruto using his fire as Sasuke and Sakura backing him up was able to defend their, well, contractor as Kakashi was getting chokehold in a water style jutsu as Naruto with his rage launched a fire dragon. Fire dragon jutsu! 
as a dragon made out of fire dashed towards Abuza. As Abuza was surprised. Is this even possible? As Naruto then said, Fire Phoenix! As a phoenix appeared, made out of fire, as Naruto threw it at blinding speeds towards him. As Zabuza was hit head on by that, as his compliance who came down was also hurted by this. As Naruto was seen standing there, his whole body was surrounded by a chakra coat of fire. As Naruto looked at all of them, Nissan, are you okay? Naruto said, I'm fine, Naruto. Just a little tired. As Naruto then said, I'll take care of this. No! Get away from here. Everything will be fine. As Zabuza got up, then, you will pay for this. As his sword automatically repaired itself because of the Genjutsu and the seals that were placed on it. What? I melted the sword. <laughs> this is the one of the de demon swords. What do you expect? As Kokushin arrived there out of nowhere. You will not harm my son. The red hot blooded arrow. Shit, we're in the losing end, Zabuza thought. Fine, we'll go, for now at least. As both of them left, as Kushina stood there, as she picked up Kagashi. Nisan, what are you? Rest Kagashi, I'll be taking the charge here. I informed Minato of what was going on already. I came here. I'm linked with Naruto's mind. Wait, still? Come on, Kurama, I told you to. I got this. Kid, obviously I'm going to worry about you. You see? So, I must inform your mother. She's always pestering me, my other half. The poor thing, to always where you are now and what are you doing right now. So, y you have been... Yes, unfortunately, I have been telling her each and every move of yours that you have been making. Seriously, man. That is some deep trust issue that I'm going to have because of that. <laughs> Not like you can do anything about it. I guess so. As after that, when they arrived, Inari and Naruto still fought. As Naruto, with Kyuubi's rage, tried to find, well, Zagato. And he knew how to find him. As he was look, getting his team out of his body, he was opposed by, well, his appliance. Who are you? I'm Haku. I know you. You're with him, right? As Haku got on guard. Listen, you and Zabuza, I have a proposition. Please bring me to him. As after that, we see Naruto and Zabuza talking. <laughs> Very funny, kid. Listen, Zabuza, I'm not joking. You must have an agenda of doing this. Because you, as a shinobi, can see that this is not the most ideal job. Hmm. It is because I need money to go back to the rebels. You can take half of the money that we, I find, but half of the money will go back to the village. Hmm. It is a deal then. Gato is going to not see what hits them. As the three of them embarked on a journey, as Naruto took down Gato alongside with the three compliances, and the half money was split as was decided. As Naruto then said, thank you. No kid, thank you. And to be honest, I did not like doing that for one bit. Huh, I'm quite surprised that I did not think of that in the first place. Could have taken a lot of money from the midget to myself. <laughs> well, I guess you can say now that we now share, right? Yes, we do. Anyway, kids, good luck with your life. And please, at least, I apologize for what I have done. I do for burning and, you know, melting your sword. <laughs> None taken, kid. It was quite fun to be, you know, get beaten by you. Not gonna lie, it still sucks to be beaten by a kid, but it's a reminder that I must practice and hard. No matter how strong I get, I will always not see the shinobi world as I see it before. Wanna know why? Why? Because there are many people in the shinobi world who can surpass you and you may never know where they come from and who they are, no matter how they age is. I guess so you're right. Well, we're luck with both of you as well. As Naruto left. And everyone was surprised that the hostages that were taken as well as the half money was here. Where's the half one, Naruto? It's the half of the money. More than enough for covering us all. The half of it, I gave it away to the person who helped me. Naruto, we are going to have a long talk, young man, once we get back. But I'm proud of you. As after that, the bridge was named after him, and once they returned, we see him standing inside the council chamber, as the whole council was there, as Kushina and Minato were frowning. I'm sorry, everyone. I was just, you know, mad that the kid dad died. I don't even want to know how it feels like. And from what I think that QB must have told you everything, right? 
it was a spoken oath that they will speak Kuramat as QB in front of everyone. Only them alone themselves could talk about his original name. Yes, he told me, Naruto. So, what is my punishment then? You are forbidden to go on any mission for one month. After one month, the Chunin exams are nearing and you can participate in them. And you will not be allowed to train, giving you a huge disadvantage. That is your punishment. I. As after that, Naruto had one month to himself, which he, well, was now inside his home. As his dad arrived, listen son, I'm sorry for what happened. As a Kage, I had to do this. As a father, it pains me to see that this happened to you. But you disobeyed a direct order and went into danger, knowing fully well what your rank was and what kind of mission it has turned into. Your mother did a good job, suggesting me this punishment. Listen son, the reason we did this punishment was because we are scared because we think that we might get lost lost you out there in the battlefield and that is something that we cannot live through your mother and me both so that is why what I did I know dad I don't hate you for that I guess but I still need to train you did not have to stop it well you will not be training in the, within the village walls but that goes against the rule that you cannot go outside really yes and you can go to Jiraiya for that. Uh, Hirosanin? He says that you with your brain can learn Sage Mode within one month. If that is true then why not try it Naruto? I tried to but I couldn't. Jiraiya has but half of it at least. As Naruto went with Jiraiya to the toads after becoming their summoner and within one month later Naruto was able to summon toads as when he returned he was much more stronger than before with a summon. As the Chunin exam went as in canon, Orochimaru did attack but Naruto was able to well, fight him off as alongside with all the other Jinjurkis and Shinobi that were there which strengthened the union between the villages if nothing else. Their fight together as strong and strengthened the union and they were not going to fight and has well moved into a petition to form an alliance, an everlasting alliance between five nations were there as one person was not happy or more specifically one group, Akatsuki. As Madra has gone crazy. No matter what he tried to do to break off the alliance, Naruto and his family were the constant stones that were trying to, well, cross his path and he did not like it one bit. Why? Why? No matter what I do, those insolent people just keep on getting in my way. I was not able to get Jinchurikis. I was not even to get anyone. And they have lost all of their Akatsuki as well. The leader, the fake one as well. Because no matter when they sent anyone, they were taken down. Naruto was already strong enough to deal with pain and his compliance. As all of his boss were defeated by him in his perfect Gessia Barian state mode. As well as the perfect Sage mode. As Naruto unleashed the Rustin Shuriken upon it, protecting his village who was about to be destroyed. As not only that, the others were quite scared by this. Naruto has come out to be the strongest Jinchuriki, alongside every other Jinchuriki who has gotten to know its BJ and become the perfect Jinchuriki out there ever possible, even Gara. As many years have passed and Madara was getting more and more enraged. So my Zazu was starting to pester him. You're just a failure, Madara. I shouldn't have told you this plan. This is nothing more. Madara then grabbed his neck and snapped. Shut up. Zetsu was burned to crisps. If I can't have this plan, I will do it my way. As Madara then began to create a seal, which will absorb everything, as he began to absorb the nature itself, causing many, many catastrophes to occur and tornadoes as well as natural disasters to happen because it was against the laws of nature and he became a cryptid god. As he announced at a Kage summit that was happening to renewal the peace treaty that he was going to start a war upon them. People of elemental nations, I, Madara Uchiha, will declare war upon you all. As in front of them, an old man appeared and pierced through his chest as he was absorbed by the old man. <laughs> as Madara finally appeared, I have been hibernating and preserving myself for this day. Now, I am whole again, he said as his eyes showed Rinnegan, a perfect god. And I will take you down all, if this nation and elemental nations cannot or does not want to be preserved, then it will be destroyed. 
as Naruto and everyone else got into their perfect Biju state and tried to hold him off, but it was to no avail until Sasuke and Naruto were summoned to the plane where the sage allowed them to be have their powers and both of them were able to hold on Madara and defeat him as he was once again sealed like their mother and now they had two mo moons up in the space. Madara and Kaguya were forever sealed and Naruto and Sasuke had the sage's power and the mark, the sun and the moon. As Naruto and Sasuke arrived down, as Ino and as well as Hinata ran towards Naruto as Sasuke saw Sakura coming towards him. The elemental nations cheered. Even the Otogakure was there now. Rachimaru was able to escape even though he, well, was caught. So, after that, he helped them out and cleared his name. And Jiraiya was happy and so was Tsunade who arrived in the battlefield. As Naruto was panting heavily, that took a lot out of me. Me too, friend. Me too. Now we have a final time skip. We see a 25 year old Naruto Uzumaki as well as Sasuke Uchiha going on the moon to save Hanabi, his sister in law. As after turning, after defeating, well, the person who took it, Tonali, they put protective seals on Earth, knowing fully well that there were some out forces that might try to attack them again. If there was one, there might be more. So, a lot of seals were prevented made to prevent any outer force to enter Earth's atmosphere, even the asteroids or something like that. So it was a given. And now we see that Naruto was getting ready to marry the loves of his life. And so was Sasuke, who has picked up Karen a lot along the way. And she was adopted by the Uzumaki family because she was an Uzumaki as Naruto's sister. And now she was going to marry Sasuke as well. And the next generation was already there on the way because of some of their friends already being married. And everyone was there celebrating the marriage of, of the strongest clans and the union between them. And the new generation, they knew already, will be stronger than ever. And they pitied those who were there were evil left to destroy the peace that was made by this generation. As Naruto and Sasuke came out, alongside everyone else that they will protect this peace and keep on the torch until the next generation is ready to pass on the torch to them as this is where i'm going to be leaving this story off guys i hope you like this one and if you did then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and again shout out to my guy whose comment is now currently being displayed on the screen so yeah this is apollo uchiha and i'm signing out peace